Hey, how you doing? This is Robert, creator and co-founder of Broga Yoga. Uh, this sequence is based on what I did yesterday. Yesterday I went to the gym, uh, worked on some body parts, lifted weights, um, didn't go too heavy, but definitely feeling it a little bit today. And after not playing for probably two or maybe well, two years, I played uh, about an hour and a half of solid basketball. So as a 44 year old dude, I feel it in certain areas. Definitely feel it in the knees, um, just some joints. Overall, muscles are a little sore, body's a little inflamed. So number one, I'll put a little link, um, the best link I can. This is like a miracle for me. Uh, I've been doing this for maybe uh, six months. Water, turmeric powder, fresh ginger, cayenne, lemon, honey. Combination, warm it up, maybe to a boil. Uh, there are probably a million recipes out there, but a lot of this, uh, number one reason the turmeric in there is, is, is a natural remedy for, the, uh, for inflammation in the joints and overall in the body. Uh, and again, I'll put a link, so if you're not familiar, how all of these ingredients might be helpful for you. So anyway, enough of that, but it's amazing. It tastes pretty good as well. Maybe even drink it first thing in the morning before you have your coffee, before you have any food. Now, the sequence is based on what I did last night. So first thing I did this morning, child's pose, down dog, little side plank, poses that will help kind of bring some blood flow and life into the knees, to the shoulders, etc., and also a little bit of strength, but not much. The strength is really just more about um, kind of bringing some energy into the body. So it's like postures, right? First thing, roll out of bed, do some postures, maybe get this boiling, and that's my morning. So I'm gonna share that with you, these poses. I'll talk you through some of them. Go ahead and lay your mat out, get ready to roll. So start in child's pose. Take the knees about as wide as the mat and the big toes to touch. And reach your butt back as far as you can to your heels. And let the first like five breaths in child's pose be easy. You don't have to stretch your arms out like crazy, right? The arms come down, forehead come down. If the forehead doesn't meet the mat, Stack your fists, use a pillow, something for support. Take a few deep breaths. And of course, you know, modify as it's necessary for you. So if the knees feel better closer, fine. I like them wider, it, uh, it makes a little bit more space for my stomach. So I can really expand on the inhale, so expand the stomach on the exhale or expand the stomach on the inhale and contract gently on the exhale. All right, stretch your arms out, come up into tabletop, bring your knees now below the hips, left hand for support below the shoulder or slightly forward. Move your left foot over to the left a little bit, this will help for support and balance. And extend your right foot back, heel down. What I like to do is I like to align my right heel, in this case on this side, Right heel, left knee, left hand. They're all almost in a line. And then the left foot, play around with it. You'll notice if you don't move it over, your balance will be. It's like you're kind of on a tightrope or a balance beam. This helps offset it a little bit. Okay. Make sure your left shoulder feels okay, right? Adjust the hand accordingly, forward, a little back, a little to the side. Figure it out, spread your fingers wide. And then four, an added sense of stretch across your chest, maybe even from your left shoulder, collarbone, chest, right shoulder, feels good to reach the arm up. Now try not to let the right hand be lazy and lethargic. To get like even more benefits, like work muscles in your right forearm, let's say, right? Just spread your fingers really wide. Thumb away from the index, pinky away from the ring finger. So don't do that, but then let, don't, don't let the face all of a sudden drip, right? Engage here, engage all the necessary muscles and body parts that need to be engaged, but relax with the muscles in the face, enjoy the stretch, okay, check it out. You can also bring your right hand, if you have shoulder issues on the right side, for instance, right? bring the right hand down or bring it to your low back. For a challenge, take the right leg up. Now again, the purpose behind me adding this in is it requires some focus, some attention, and some effort. 
which will heighten my breath a little bit and bring more energy into my body. That's how I think, view it. So the balance, right, this is definitely more of a balancing pose now. This requires more attention. Now I'm going to add a little quad stretch, right? Bend the right leg. The wall's a little bit in the way, but you see where I'm going here, right? Take a hold of the foot. Push the foot into the hand to incorporate a little bit of a chest and shoulder stretch. I'm even, because I worked on some bicep stuff yesterday, I feel that stretch in my biceps as well. Okay, go ahead and extend that leg back out, bring the right hand down, take the right knee down, and from this position here, curl the toes under, downward dog. About five breaths or so, softening through the knees, lengthening through the spine, sit bones up high, move the head around a little bit, make sure it has lots of freedom, it's not too tense. Good. Roll back into a child's pose, right? Come back up into the table, set up for the other side. So, side plank, left foot back, heel down, move that right foot over like a kickstand, right hand, find the spot, right? <clears throat> Makes sense, but make sure that that right arm is a post and it's got stability. If you feel stable and you want to kind of get a little bit more of a stretch across the chest, fingers wide and then reach that left arm back a little bit. Maybe even pulling your shoulder blades. Pull the shoulder blades toward one another. Modification, variation. Push the foot into the hand, stretching across the chest, like your shoulder, your chest, side body, big stretch through the quad, maybe even pull the heel toward the seat. Keep breathing. Good, extend, hand back down. Take the child's pose once again. So third one. Stretch the arms out. This is the last little movement here, okay? So stretch the arms out as far as you can. Keep them there. Don't change anything. When you come up onto your hands and knees, you can move your knees a little closer to hip width. But the movement is, is to come from child's pose and begin, keep the arms straight, even if the shoulders start to slope up into the ears. For now, it's okay. Let the thighs come down to the mat, maybe even the hips, and be mindful of your back, right? This is kind of a big back bend for a lot of people. So you may bypass this. You may immediately bend your arms and then roll down. For me, I'll do it exactly the way it feels okay for me. It's here here and then bend and roll down and then inhale exhale back into that child's pose inhale table and then exhale it's like a reverse up dog through cobra and all the way down Pull yourself forward to come up and exhale. That's an inhale. Then exhale, downward dog. Or uh, child's pose, my bad. All right. <clears throat> so that, for me, it brings some attention to the joints, brings some uh, intention for the day, if you choose to do so. Like, I'm going to kill this day. I'm going to rock it out. I'm going to bring more... Uh, uh, happiness to others, kindness, I'm going to be strong today in areas where I'm normally weak, whatever it is for you, right? So add an intention, add some movement, add a little bit of the, the magic potion. I promise you it works as opposed, you know, stay away from the Advil and the, the pills, the quick fix. Try this, see how it feels. You may be surprised. Have a good day.